some level. <laughs> it's just wrong. I mean, do you really have to dress your horse in a purple hat? <laughs> but imagine that Kirstie Alley pulling a carriage with a big purple hat on. <laughs> Naked. First of all, sometimes tragedy... Carrie Ann and Abba, uh, you know, she... They're trying to make the best of this whole situation? Well, I don't know what happened. Yeah, she goes on and on. She's the most annoying frigging judge on the planet. I mean, she got, you know, she's something of a celebrity now. She's on a number one show, Dancing with the Stars. And she's a judge. And she went on, I believe it was, uh, what was it, Good Morning America or something. They were interviewing her. I don't remember the show. It was just recently, and her boyfriend comes out, gets down on one knee, and proposes to her. Maybe it was the Ellen DeGeneres show. One of these Regis shows. Regis and Kelly. Regis and Kelly. And I went, oh, my God, this is so fucking pathetic. Like, here she is. She's on a show. Her boyfriend, I keep that fucking shit private when you propose. I mean, it just looks weird. Like, who's this guy and what's going on? And why does he need a TV show to propose? Yeah, I mean, it's such a private thing. I mean, I never get when people go to, you know, I understand when a guy maybe isn't famous. He goes to the Nick game and proposes. He wants to see himself up on the Jumbotron. But she's like a famous woman. She gets enough attention. He's got to propose. Have a private fucking moment. You're talking about spending your life, the rest of your life, with one person, for Christ's sake. I don't know. But ever since she got engaged, she talks triple time now. Really? She won't shut the fuck up. It's two amazingly beautiful moments. And I think despite the fact that you had a little mess up in the beginning, something magical happened after that. And you were just so connected to the music. And by the way, fantastic song choice. The band... I'm so afraid of offending Kirstie Alley. She's so... You can see she's just so vulnerable. Something very beautiful They're even happened. complimenting the music. Yeah. There's nothing... Yeah, they, they give an applaud for that. An applause. That music was horrible. Yeah. And Tony, you guys were incredible. It was so touching. And to see you connected to your vulnerability like that, but determined to make it through, I thought you did a wonderful job. Thank you. All right. Glenn. First of all, what's wrong with this dance instructor that he thinks he can drag and carry this this woman who's clearly about 265 easy? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, he, he decided fucked up. to take this on. That was a dumb move. If I was a judge, I would have said to you, listen, <clears throat> take a look at her. You see, I would be a good judge. I'd say, listen, you got to use your head when you make choreography. You're creating a moment here. Know your limitations, fuck not. It's like Spider-Man, the we play. We would never have known you didn't do right. that move if you hadn't done that move. And if you're going to do the move, switch roles. Let her cart you around. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> don't, don't, don't handle things this way. I would yell at this guy. I'd say, listen, I'm not going to penalize her points, but there's something wrong with you. I mean, you got to know that this girl has got a problem. Well, you're going to have all, this, all the contestants jumping off of ledges. I don't care. You hire me to be a judge. I talk the truth. I don't care who jumps off a ledge. Don't <laughs> sign up. Do they ever have solo dancers? Solo? No. No. It's Without a partner partners. dancing. It's got to be with yeah. a partner. Right. Thing is a bit like life. It's about overcoming adversities. And, you know, you overcome it. You got up. You dusted yourself off. Ooh, he's Where did they get that guy? I don't know, but Ooh. he's a real creep. He is. But he's the only one with a good opinion. Like, he actually, you'll listen, he's like the Simon Cowell of the show. Right. You know. Well, anyway, uh, here Max explains what happened. The guy who lifted Kirstie Alley and dropped her. <laughs> I mean, my heart stopped beating back here. You know, everybody's worst. Brooke uh, Burke is Your the favorite. worst. The worst. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, she's a good-looking girl, but the worst. I, my heart stopped beating back here. What happened? It's nightmares to have a misstep out there. Talk us through what happened, and we've actually got a clip. So take a look at this and tell us what happened, Max. <laughs> oh, my thighs just give off. Any dancer would know. It's, it happens in muscle strains and all of that, but it has nothing He's being kind. Things to do with her. I just want to apologize. And Chrissy, how hard is it to me. pick up the pieces after that and to get back up and finish your dance? It was the dart. I just didn't know where to start. <laughs> I think there's something very, very wrong with her. It's all right. a million times. What is he? What is she saying? I've never on this show since she's been on. Whenever she speaks, I have no idea what she's <laughs> talking about. It's literally that inc incoherent. I don't wow. know. What, yeah, even in those uh, piece, those tape pieces, she doesn't make any sense. It's unbelievable. This is a great season. 
<laughs> it is right, because you cursed it. And yeah, you've done it a million times. Well, those kind of... Yeah, is right. that's Listen nice. to And Christy, how hard is it to pick up the pieces after that and to get back up? And now, a normal person would say, well, you know, it threw me a little bit, but then I got my stuff together and collected myself and I went on dancing. That would be an answer that people could understand. Listen to this answer. Finish your dance. It was the dart. I just didn't know where to start. <laughs> It's been All right. We've done it a million times. We've done it a million times. Well, it's... those kind of things happen. I mean, who knows what she says? Uh... She's very, very, very. They should really have her, you know, take her somewhere and let her rest. Put her on some sort of medication. <laughs> I mean, really, that's why. If I was a judge, I'd say, listen, she needs a rest. This show's going to kill her. She's already babbling like a fool. And she survived that fall. She's right. going to come back for another round. So she went right down on her head. Oh yeah, well, they gave they her high scores. Vote. They gave her sevens. Really? Three sevens. Well, she she actually she happens to be a good dancer. She's light on her feet for a, yeah, a girl. Yeah, wasn't her fault. Uh, being dropped. No, it was a drop. No, the teacher's a fucking lunatic. <laughs> I mean, what, you got you got to look. You got to listen. Let me tell you something about construction. Guys who work construction. I worked as a dishwasher, and I, I'm talking about. I used to feed a thousand, two thousand people mm -hmm. a day. You got to size up what you're going to lift. You're going to end up Absolutely. with a hernia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to know your business. It was his fault. Hey, it's the same as Charlie Sheen thinking he can go out and do stand up. Sometimes you got to know your limitations. You take a look at a girth like that, a load, and you say, "Wait a second. I'm going to be on one leg. I'm going to be on one leg lifting this. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 what do I, I don't want to embarrass this woman. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do some other dance move. There's plenty of dance moves. These guys know a million of them. Sure. I bet she's got a killer down there. I bet she's got a hernia. Oh, poor thing. Yeah. I bet she's going to have to get an operation. Are you kidding me? It'd be interesting to see what is choreographed for her next. <laughs> would have been funny if he just shit his pants right there on stage. <laughs> wait, wait, he what is he going to do? One of those moves where she runs to him and he lives her oh, in the air yeah. next? That should be next. He should <laughs> lift her over his head. <laughs> the live show, and you know what? You handled it really well. Let's get your scores right now, you guys. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and some of these women, mostly. Start to cry when they get low scores. <laughs> I know. It's great. I told you they're fragile. They're all nuts. You know, and they're like, you know, you know what it is for a girl. I guess dancing is like a big deal. Like the guys are like, what? You know, who happens to be a great dancer, and uh, it's a surprise. The guy who plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers, his name is I think Ward Hines. Is that his name, Ward? I don't know. Does anyone know the uh, Hines Ward? Hines Ward. I don't know anything about him. Football player. Yeah, I don't know anything about him. I know he's a fantastic football player because Beth goes, that's Hines Ward. I had it almost right, Ward Hines. <laughs> <laughs> like, I heard a guy call me Stern Howard. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are two names, you they are interchangeable as last names. Right. But uh, this was a great moment. If you, if you, we tweeted out the link. Go watch it because it's fantastic. Because it shows you. Now the... I'm sorry I missed the show. Yeah, I, I never say that about Dancing with the Stars. Well, now you see. Now you have a reason to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> I actually watched it this morning. I couldn't stay awake. I, been, I was so tired last night. I, uh, I don't have a free moment. I was talking to my psychiatrist yesterday. I said, listen, I don't have a free moment. i, I got to drop down to two days a week. He won't let me. Look, he's looking at you saying, this is not where you cut. If you got to cut something, this that's, is not where you cut. That's exactly what he's saying. He's saying, <laughs> cut something else out of your life because you need this. That's right. Yeah, he, he says, I don't need patience. You need this. You need don't to be look at this as the lost leader. I said to him, listen. I have been coming three and four days a week for 13 years. Has it been that long? He says it's not about the years. I go, well, but, but I said, but, I said, what are you looking for in me? What are you trying what to is get this? to? Yeah, because I'll <laughs> fake it. I, anything to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so he gave me a list of things that why I'm in therapy. He had to remind me and tell me. He says, look, if you go two days a week, you're going to be coming here the rest of your life. Do you really want, do you want to just, you want to settle this once and for all and get your shit together? Come three days a week. I said, I've been doing, how long, before I see results. You have seen I'm results now, Seth. I'm insane. But what was on this list? Were you? Well, there are things I need to work on. I'd rather not share with you. <laughs> but you agreed with the list. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I agree with the list. He's right. But I, you know what it is, Robin? I, it, look, I need free time. I am so busy with with the meeting don't ask me what i'm meeting about but i'm meeting every minute yeah and just the business phone calls and the and the day-to-day -day life stuff and you know you sometimes you need time to sit and read a magazine what's what we do for you know listen 
Like the other day, I'm reading Rolling Stone with that maniac, Phil Collins. Then it comes up on the air. In other words, that's, yeah, that's great. I'm great doing stuff. my homework. Boy, is that guy nuts. I got to read that article. You've intrigued me. You, I you can't gotta imagine read Phil Collins is upset. He won't. First of all, who even knew he was upset? If he didn't drag attention to himself by saying, everybody goofs on me, everyone considers me well, a lightweight. Who mentioned him? Nobody. <laughs> He's in this article ranting and raving that, that I guess Liam Gallagher of Oasis used to make fun of him on stage. Now, the guy from Oasis is gone for 20 years already. And it's on stage. How many right. people are seeing it? No one's seen it. He says, everyone's against me. Everyone considers me to be the guy who ruined Genesis. I'm saying, really? Who the fuck cares? He goes, Genesis with Peter Gabriel as the lead singer. They were a progressive rock band. I took over and we had tremendous hits, 20 hits in a row, pop sure. hits. And everyone says I ruined a Genesis. So I go, okay. He says, and then I can't drum anymore. Because I have a bad back and I have, I, I can barely hold drumsticks. Look at my hand. This guy's psychotic. <laughs> now he can't hold the drumsticks. Listen, he's in real pain, but he needs to go see Dr. Sarno. You yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, go, go talk well, to him. Well, listen to him. Obviously, he's got issues. Then he's holed up in some, like, Sweden or somewhere. I, I forget where. But Yeah, I know he's over in one of those places you run for tax. Collecting Alamo. Amnesty. He's collecting Alamo memorabilia. He has the largest collection of the Alamo, and he's telling the interviewer, Look at this Bowie knife. I'd run right out of the room. Look at this Bowie knife. It's the exact knife that uh, Davy Crockett held. And even the interviewer is like, what the fuck? Well, yeah, you're British. What do you care about the Alamo? I don't know, but he's got a huge collection of human teeth, too, like uh, from the Alamo. And I mean, what, what the fuck is he doing? There's a reason he has the largest collection, because nobody else cares. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody gives him that crap. Yeah, and then he uh, he can't do music anymore. He can't write music. Anymore. And his three marriages, each marriage was a disaster. Worse than the next time. I mean, the guy's a lunatic. I love him. <laughs> I love him because he's worse than you. Yeah, and he buying you, he's not in therapy. <laughs> and I was thinking that. I said, listen, Phil Collins isn't in therapy. What am I doing here? And he sounds like he's having a wonderful right. time. Yeah, oh yeah, he's having a good time. <laughs> he's staying with the Al Alamo memorabilia. It's right. Davy Crockett's hat or he's something. He's probably, what, has he got one of those displays where he has yeah. everything set up? Everything's behind glass, <laughs> like nicely displayed. They said it, you know, I mean, the writer was kind to him, but I think the writer figured he, he better get out of there before, right. before it turns into silence of the yeah, lambs. Yeah, before he uses that Bowie knife on him. Yeah, it's funny. And he's obsessed with uh, the guys from Oasis saying that he ruined uh, Genesis. They can't even keep themselves together. Right. But, you know, I need free time. That's my point. Well, don't look for it from your therapy. Because I'm in the middle of something, and i got to run to therapy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're it saying, It interrupts but... my day. Robin, there's a reason you left, too. What? Therapy. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, you're doing, back in. Yeah, right. One day a week? Yes. And that, ain't, that ain't therapy, <laughs> according <laughs> to my guy. I'm just talking to somebody. And, I, and believe me, you crossed my mind, so I go, you know, Robin's really fucked up, and she doesn't even go to therapy. <laughs> she goes one day a week. How does she get to go one day a week? Well, don't go to therapy and use that time for yourself. Oh, my right. God, George. See? That's what I said. I just want to go, cut down to two you days a week. Save money, and that time is yours. He won't let me. Read magazines or he whatever won't you want let to do. me. George, do you want Howard to have a happy life? I think he'd be happy. How much it. more life do I have? I'm an old dude. Well, none of it's <clears> been <throat> happy. I hope you'll have at least one happy year. A happy year? Forget it. <laughs> We're working on a happy day. <laughs> Move to Sweden <clears throat> and start collecting Waterloo memorabilia. Waterloo. <laughs> hmm. Napoleon's. Right, George I know, doesn't I know. care about you. George right. could care less if you're miserable. I'll be 94. No, I don't. I'll be 94 and I finally. I want everybody to be happy. I can't wait to be cured at 94. <laughs> I can't go through this another 13 years. Well, who said it was another 13 years? I don't know. I think he's saying If that. you cut down to two days, maybe that will be another 13 years. How about I stop completely like you did? Oh, God. I'm sick of it. So then you'll have to go back. Well. <laughs> I don't understand all this uh, dependence on therapy. Oh, my goodness, oh, Right. Why you do know. people go to therapists? <sighs> because I'm fucked up. But you're, <clears throat> you're wonderfully... Uh... I mean, you have no idea how deeply fucked up I am. Why? And how? Why? I can't how? relate to anybody. Oh, you relate to so many people. No. This I mean, isn't you're relating to people. This, is, this isn't relating to people. This is my job. Yes. And, and I do well. well. That's about all I do well.
That's it. And everything else is a disaster. Aren't you happy doing what you're doing? Yeah, at work. Yeah. I mean, and I'm not even happy with that. 